again. No, maybe down here. Genevieve. Field, and I'm here to support Sheriff McDonald's opposition to SB 54, and um, for many reasons, one of which is the crime element. And as Americans, I think we should care about three things with respect to the criminal element: are the immigrants in the U.S. Uh, here illegally? Have they committed violent crimes, predominantly against U.S. citizens? And have these criminals not have these criminals not been in our country illegally? These crimes, the victimization of our citizens and the cost of their crimes borne by American taxpayers could have been completely avoided. In 2014, the U.S. Sentencing Commission found that 75% of all criminal defendants who were convicted and sentenced for federal drug offenses were illegal immigrants. Illegal immigrants were also involved in 17% of all drug trafficking sentences and one-third of all federal prison sentences. The U.S. Department of Justice and the U.S. The U.S. Sentencing Commission reported that as of 2014, illegal immigrants were convicted and sentenced for over 13% of all crimes committed in the U.S. According to the FBI, 67,642 murders were committed in the U.S. from 2005 through 2008, and 115,717 from 2003 to 2009. The General Accounting Office documents that criminal immigrants committed 25,000 uh, 64 of these murders. To extrapolate out these statistics, this means that a population of just over 3.5 percent residing in the U.S. unlawfully committed 22 percent to 17 to 37 percent of all murders in the nation. This is astounding. In California alone, over 2,400 illegal immigrants out of a total prison population of 130,000 stole prison, prison population are imprisoned in the state's prison system for the crime of homicide. The pro-illegal immigrant lobby consistently misrepresents the criminal involvement of illegal immigrants as compared to immigrants who legally entered the U.S. and Thank American you, citizens. Michael Greer, followed by Jimmy Peters and Vaughn Beck. Mr. Williams, can I make a comment real quick? Yes. Uh, we're all entitled to, excuse me, now, to our opinion, and it's great, uh, but we're not each entitled to our own facts. And a lot of the statements that you just heard are so blatantly false. Uh, it's a fact that the crime rate among undocumented immigrants is vastly lower. No, it's not. Than the no, rest no, of no, 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 no. That's a lie. I, if I had more time, I could, I could refute what you were saying. It's a lie. That's a lie. Everybody's got their own facts. My name is Michael Greer. Uh, <coughs> we, speaker, please go ahead, ma'am. We have been a nation of laws, and if we are not a nation of laws, we are a nation. If we don't have borders, we are not a nation. Um, I, I am here to oppose SB 54. One of the things that it does is that it enables the coyotes to charge people thousands of dollars to pack them into trucks and bring them in here to die, promising them that, they'll, that as soon as they get to a sanctuary city, they'll be safe. They won't be deported. That's enabling crime. We either follow the law or you change the law legally. But we've been ignoring the law for years and years. This, uh, I'm really tired of hearing what an awful country this is. Then why are all these people trying to get into our country? Yeah. Right. This is the most right. generous country in the world. Mm -hmm. That's right. we, are, we are generous. We're the Thank first you. to respond to any kind of disaster Ooh. around Ooh. the world. We have helped so many nations. We give foreign aid to them all. We, we, mm. have, we, we import twice as many legal immigrants as all the rest of the countries That's combined. Right. That's right. We are not being mean and evil, but we can only support a certain number. We only have the resources for a certain number. We only have the housing for a certain number. They have to come in legally, or they need to stay where they are. Yeah. Good job, Michael. Followed by Vaughn Good job, Michael.